With over eight months left before the country hosts the 2019 Southeast Asian Games, Philippine sports looks back at its glorious past and celebrates the legends and heroes in a pep rally that hypes up the regional biennial meet. But how will this inspire the national athletes of today to make their own mark in Philippine sports? This will be the first time Jiu-Jitsu will be included in the SEA Games, and world champion Megyo Choa is raring for that inaugural golden finish. Of course, the pressure is always there, but then for me, I don't really focus on the pressure so much. What I really want to focus on, yun nga eh, what I said is yung, yung pag-agreed ng opportunity na to, and that really just gets me so excited to really give it my best in the SEA Games. After a disappointing run in 2017, Perlas Pilipinas promises to prove why they deserve to be a SEA Games champ. Sobrang laki ng uh, factor nun, kasi Filipino, kahit di mo na sila parang sabihan na manood kayo, parang Nando na sila eh. So talagang ipapakita namin sa kanila kung bakit may women's basketball and kung bakit namin pinaglalaban yung women's basketball sa bansa. Boxing's lone silver medalist in the 2018 Asian Games, Rajen Ladon, aims for a return to the regional biennial meet with his eyes set on a gold. Siyempre, napakalaking opportunity sa akin ito kasi mapakita ko sa buong Pilipinas yung galing ko na makalaro ako ng CG. Uh, Siyempre, gagawin ko lang lahat na makakaya ko at saka yun nga, siyempre, pinakamit, ay, ano talaga natin palagi yung gintong medalya para sa Pilipinas. Star para swimmer Ernie Gawilan is expected to exceed all expectations with a golden sweep in his first ever ASEAN Para Games in the Philippines. Uh, sana ma'am, yun yung target din namin na masurpass pa yung, yung performance na yung mga nakaraan. So sana maganda, ma, mas maganda, mas uh, sayang pa namin yung, ano, yung competition. With all these motivated athletes, they are determined to make sure that the Philippines will reach its target of a podium finish. Beatrice Go, Rappler, Manila.